Today guys, we're unboxing the VAR the Vortran automatic resuscitator. We're going to hook it up to the flow meter. I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to use this. Um, if these things come out at our hospital, we're in a pinch because we're out of ventilators and it's probably a mass disaster situation. So at our hospital, we actually have a hundred of these things stored with oxygen tanks to run them. 25 liters per minute, you're going to start with your rate all the way down and you're going to go with an inspiratory pressure about 25. So this is flow driven, pressure regulated. Let's get to the uh, table over here so I can show you how it works. Let's unpackage this Vortran. You can see here, Vortran automatic resuscitator, really important, 513. 2021 that dates really important these do expire and what happens is there's a diaphragm in here that becomes really sticky and it will not cycle properly so let's open this thing up in the most dramatic fashion we can't back ripping the bag so we're going to pull it out set that to the side so you have a special instructions on here. This is just so that in a pinch, anybody could set this thing up. You can see we have one set flow to 25 liters per minute. Uh, adjust the PIP to 25 approximately. Connect the patient. And then uh, you can change the rate. And we'll go through all this stuff. But this is a little generic kind of instruction sheet for how to use it. So... Um, Put this over here all right so we have a couple different pieces so obviously this is the easiest one to look at us from west med but this is the um oxygen tubing for it uh you can see that it has adapters on both sides this will actually screw directly into the flow meter so i'm going to do that back here screw this into the flow meter Let's see the flow down a little bit below 25 at this point just to keep the sound down a little bit but you're going to see this is the automatic resuscitator you're going to have this is where your diaphragm is located inside of there that's the part that becomes real sticky if it's expired and it will um, not uh, cycle which is a major problem I'm trying to ventilate something so right here it's kind of dummy proof thank goodness so it only screws into one spot. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. A little quieter. Okay. It's not going to cycle real well, but I'm going to go through some of this. So, if you look at this, this does not have the 50% adapter. There is an adapter that goes on this. Uh, on some of these VARs that adapts right here, it's green. And it allows air entrainment. Um, this is... These are merely purchased just for um, disasters. So this one will only do 100% oxygen. Uh, you may see some with the green adapter that will do 50. If you take the green adapter off, it will do 100%. So in this case, you're going to see, and I'll turn it around so you can see it. Uh, this is your patient interface, and this is where a piece of corrugated tubing is going to go. Face it the other direction, it'll be a little more quiet. And then this is going to be your rate adjustment. So as it adjusts out, it goes faster rate, and as it goes in, it's a slower rate. This piece right here is your PIP adjustment. And as the instruction said, we're gonna start about 25. So we're gonna get it right to where it's pretty much set. We get out of the box. So the bottom of the line is 25, and the line between the purple and the white is near 35. So let's go right about there. Fluctuation, then I'm gonna hook my test slung up. This is made to, um, be used quickly so as you can see now we're getting some auto cycling here and that's really what we should have the key is to slow that rate down to as low as you can get it really to where you can see it right now We'll count this. Let me see. Do a breath. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. So about every six seconds, ten breaths per minute. Man, 
man, that's really good. I really like that rate. Uh, it's good for any kind of ventilation you have going on. Um, the problem is right now is that our, our flow coming in is really low because I have, don't have the flow meter cranked up back there. Um, so this would be a great, um, very similar like a like an IMB rate. So um, a breath every six seconds, ten breaths per minute. Let me turn up my flow a little bit. This is closer to 25 liters per minute. This is really what you're going to need. And I'm sorry for the increased sound, but this is really what you're going to need um, for your patients because you're going to need that extra flow going through the system to wash out CO2. So we started low. Now let me readjust this. Slowly going outward. And I should hit a point here real soon. There we go. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. A little bit fast. I'm going to go in a little bit more. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 5. Between 5 to 6 seconds would be ideal. And you can see how I'm adjusting this. Now, after this is fluctuating well, the next thing you're going to look at is visible chest rise because you obviously this is all pressure regulated so flow driven pressure regulated for all you oh, flow driven pressure regulated for all your respiratory therapists out there fun stuff from RT school so flows coming in pressures regulating it and are regulating the rate right here remember this is at hundred percent oxygen now if you're not getting adequate chest rise you want to do your usual assessment that you would do but then you can increase your inspiratory pressure. So it's going to take a little bit more pressure for it to cycle. At that time, you're going to have to readjust your rate just a little bit. And the deal is with the test lung, it's really hard to simulate because um, it pressure it gets up to about 25 or so, and then. The, uh, the waveform is pretty flat after that point, so it hits 25 and then hits 35, 45, 55 really quickly. So back to 25 again, let's readjust our rate to what we like. We start slow and we're going to turn it counterclockwise. There's a good rate right there. This is something, it's really good before you put this on a patient, you want to test to make sure it's cycling. Because that diaphragm inside of here can get sticky and it won't cycle and you don't just want it delivering that large pressure. So this is running 25 liters. Let's see what our rate is. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. I like it. 12 breaths per minute-ish in that area. And uh, this is how uh, Vortran runs. So this is the VAR, the Vortran automatic resuscitation device. Used in a disaster here at our hospital, but some people use them for transport. Um, it fluctuates on its own, but you have to know how it functions. And number one thing you do is um, you're watching visible chest rise on your patient. That's the most important part. Don't worry about all this junk here. The patient's the most important part. So that's the key. Keep your eye on that. So thanks. I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, and uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, like, and comment down below. And uh, thanks for supporting RT Clinic. See you.